Okay, uh, thanks Vivi for interesting talk. Uh, are you guys geared up to build a bot? Okay, so uh, I'll, I'll, it will be a short and quick, a uh, little boring also. Uh, okay, so we'll uh, start with a basic uh, introduction of what is a, you know, how to build a bot and uh, what is the basic architecture and then we'll quickly go to uh, you know, uh, start building the bot without, I mean, even if you do not have any programming knowledge, we'll still be able to build a bot today, okay? Okay, so we'll cover the basic concept of chatbot. Uh, then we'll build, uh, you'll be able to build your own bot. Uh, we'll cover some basic concepts of API.ai and then probably go through how to set up your own development environment and pay sample code in uh, Node.js. Okay, so what is a bot? I mean, I've, I'm sure you guys have gone through all this. Okay, in short, if I say a bot is an intelligent application which you know can read your message, uh, process, and then respond back, right? So let's divide this into two parts. Okay, so um, your app should be focused on reading the message and then you know respond back. You. The most difficult part is the processing of the message, which we can, you know, push it onto an NLP engine, which is already uh, there are quite a few NLP engines available, like API.ai, with .ai. .ai. <coughs> uh, there are some other applications as well, uh, but uh, we will only go through API.ai today. Okay, so uh, a basic uh, overview of how. Uh, your architecture uh, would be. Uh, what we need is a you know, messenger uh, where people are going to you know, type their message. One, when they type, then obviously you need to read that message through your app and then send it back to the NLP engine. Uh, the NLP engine will uh, process and then send, it, send you what you need to do. And then you carry uh, those tasks and then put, put your message back to the messenger, right? Okay, so uh, we'll do, uh, quickly build a bot. You uh, do you have a Facebook account? No. <laughs> okay, so the first uh, step is to you know the first step is create a Facebook page. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, okay. Okay, so we'll create a Facebook page first. Maybe you know. <coughs> okay, you, you can skip all the steps. Okay. <coughs> so can we go to the next step?
Okay, so uh, we'll create a Facebook app. Okay. Just complete the task here. Okay, so um, once you come to this page, you will see this option called Messenger. You click on Get Started. <coughs> okay, and select the page that you created just now. Yeah. Uh, just authenticate. Okay, so copy this up to this page. It's it's all done. Yep. Can I go to next step? Okay, so we'll go to the uh, NLP engine. Okay, uh, you let's go to API.ai. Okay, if you are on the login page, you need a GitHub account or a Facebook account to login. Okay, uh, so I'll create a new agent. So uh, agent is your NLP engine. So whatever logic, whatever conversation uh, you want to have, you put it everything on this agent, and then on your in your code, you probably you know have to uh, understand what is the action you have to do, and then carry out that action in your code. Okay, is it done? Can I go to next step? <coughs> okay, in the domains, you just switch on the small talk. <coughs> okay, and um, yeah, that's it. Okay, so we'll integrate directly with Facebook Messenger here. Uh, okay, you, you go to the agent settings, click on settings. Are you on this page? Yeah. So you just uh, you created a page token on Facebook app. So just 
paste it here. <coughs> okay, if you have not copied, just copy it from here. Uh, verify token, you can give any, any string that Okay. And then you start. Right. So basically API dot AI creates an app for you. So what we saw is that your app and the bot engine. So it created an app for you that will talk to the NLP engine. So now it gives you a webhook url so just copy it go back to your facebook app click on setup webhooks the token you whatever you have given there it just type the same one here Okay, you must see this green. Green tick with complete. Yeah. Uh, sorry, which, which subscription fee is reached my checkout? Uh, you are on which page? Uh, the new page subscription. <coughs> yeah, so you have to select the page that you created just now. Oh, okay. Okay. And click on uh, set, set up back book, right? Yeah. So once you uh, create the token, you have to provide that token in the API.ai. Uh -huh. Okay. And, and the webhook section, the select the page that you just created. Okay, this one and this page should be same. One, this page, you know, once you select, you know, it will give you the token. You do not have to select again. Okay, every time you select, it will generate a new token. So uh, you don't have to do that again. Click on subscribe here. Okay, all done. So your bot is ready. You can just type and it will. Yep. Right. So. You can talk anything. So this is It'll the same thing that you see in the Messenger app as well. So it's the start to the Messenger, yeah right? yeah. You go to the Messenger. Can I have a unique ID to the bot now? Yep, it's your page ID. You can know once you go to Messenger. Uh, let's go to Messenger. Okay, now can I change the message? I mean, if the, if you say hello, the bot would always say, you know, hi. If you want to change, you know, you can do that as well. Okay, let's go to you know API dot AI and then you know create an intent. 
okay so just give it a name <coughs> so you can type you know whatever you want to overwrite let's say uh, for all these messages maybe you know you want to so and it, for all these messages, if you want to change the response, just type the response here. Maybe you know. <coughs> you can give a character to the bot. So this, this is simple, but if you if you want to do some stuff like you want to do some booking, let's say order booking or something, uh, you can create one more uh, intent. Let's say you know, book hotel or something. <coughs> Okay, so I mean you can test that. Uh, so how do we know which room and where is to be booked? Yeah, so the bot does. You, you have to give that you know intelligence to the bot. Let's say. So instead of book a room, I would say book a room uh, for today. Right. Okay, so immediately it understands that this is no, a date or something. So you, you can uh, add a parameter here. So let's say, uh, so this one is a date, right? Uh, let me just save this and see. Let's say you want to take this, you know, date as a parameter. So you define this parameter, uh, parameter name as date, and then uh, this dollar date you can define it in in your uh, response here. Okay, uh, this uh, these are the entities that is already defined in the system. So you do not have to uh, worry about this. If you want, if you want to test whether this is working or no you can just test, test it here okay let's say yep so it understand that 
Sunday is 29th May, so it, so it booked a room for you for 29th May, right? Okay, now uh, if we think how do we, how do, what do you need to do in your code? You need to uh, figure out this parameter and what is your action. You have not specified any action, you can just specify that, you know, uh, this is a hotel. So next time you <coughs> okay. So in your code, you need to look for this action and then uh, the parameter, and you should be able to fire a query to the backend API and complete the process. And then once the comp uh, the booking is complete, then you send this message back to your messenger, right? I'm sorry, I probably missed it. So, what, is, this, is this a callback to some other API? Uh, you will get this in your code. Uh, okay, so uh, I'll explain you how, how do you do that in your code. Right now, we are just building the bot. So, uh, when we did an integration with Facebook, it automatically created an app for you. So, you do not have to, we do not have to go through the code. But uh, you <coughs> have to integrate the SDK and then within your SDK, you call the API AI service and you will get this JSON in your code. Okay, so once you get this JSON, uh, so for conversation, you don't need anything, but for your backend processes, you would need, because if you, need, if you want to develop a bot to book a room, then you would need this information so that you can complete your backend processes, right? Uh, so, uh, how do you get the parameter? You just, either, uh, the moment you select this, you'll be able to, it will automatically create, but sometimes it does not create, so you can, you know, pass this in, uh, create this parameters. Uh. Okay, so let's say you want to, uh, if the person does not, you know, provide this date, so you can prompt, you can define this as a required parameter and then uh, just say <coughs> yep. so <coughs> and then you define a uh, so when somebody says book a room then your engine will get this intent as a, and it will understand that you, the person wants to book a hotel and then it will, you know, uh, run through this, uh, so what uh, this action. We now put into the messaging, we, we do something like, may I book a room? Do you have a room for tomorrow? So yep. Uh, no, let's say, No, no, that's, that's what I, I asked. Yeah. What if you use more nature language? So instead you will say, mm. may I book a room? Oh, may I book a room for tomorrow? Yes. Yeah, so you'll have to define those in the intents that if somebody says, may I book, then obviously, um, you know, you can divide that intent into two things. One is directly you, one is you can define that if somebody says book a room, then it has to go to the booking intent. If somebody says, you know, do you have a room, then you can put it onto a question, uh, let's say, you know, enquiry for room, and then your conversation can be different. Let's so it's it, not defined here, right? Yeah. yeah. If if it is not defined here, then uh, you. Type, may I book a room? What happens now? Yeah, probably it will book. But does the domain take over uh, the, 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 the booking bot? <coughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Okay, it doesn't come for the data? Uh, no, it, it should ask for this date. Maybe we have not saved this one yet. Yep. 
as long as there is a book or room, it will work. As long as there is book and room, then it will work. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Can I store pictures and send uh, and reply? Yeah, you can. You can save photos there. You want to change the reply? I want to reply with some pictures. Like how TechCrunch does it? It replies with a card and then the structure message. Structure message, yeah. Yeah, OK. So uh, you have to write it in the code. You have to write it in the code like this. Oh, this has to be coded. Yeah. So in the code, you will have to, uh, when you pass the uh, message data, so you will have to define that it's a structured message, and you can pass those data. How do you access the code? OK, so let, let me just uh, go through uh, a sample code. So. Uh, yeah. Before we go there, yeah. so how do you do a continued conversation as in where the bot actually remembers what you talked about? As in, <laughs> here it's like book a room for Sunday, it's like just, yeah. I mean, it's a small piece of thing, right? Right. As in one, right. one accent. Yes. Uh, how about you go <laughs> things where. Predictive. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's, uh, you need to know multiple things about a person before you actually. Uh, okay, so you, you can define, uh, let's say, uh, th there are ways to do it. Like th there is one one way is you define the required parameters <coughs> here and you put the prompt here. Okay, uh, if the user does not provide those parameters, so you collect it from here, right? So uh, now uh, we saw that uh, if the user does not provide date, then you you can it prompts you again. The uh, the other way is also uh, let's say we want we can define like you know, entities. Uh, we can define the room type, let's say. Okay, maybe I'll just quickly go through what we have already developed rather than. Santos, I have a question. Sorry. Yeah. Right now, the two of us are messaging the same bot, but I get a bot response, but she doesn't get a bot response. <coughs> But when she messaged the bots, I get a, she, I get a prompt from the page that says somebody messaged me. Yeah. <coughs> are you are you sending it to the same page, both of yeah, you? It's the same page. Yeah. So you have to uh, make her an admin for your Facebook app, as well as she has to like the page and uh, probably you have. This, this bot is not approved by Facebook. That's why yes. 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 So in the in your in your developer console, you have to make her an admin of that app. Right, right, right. Yeah. She then has to be an admin of the page. Admin or uh, there are the uh, developer tester. There are quite a few other roles as well. You, okay, so let's. So you go here. So you can define. You know, all these roles will be able to test your app. Yeah. What's your experience with this success rate on approval? Uh, I had applied one bot for approval, but it got rejected. That that was almost a month back, because it's. Uh, I mean, I developed that using Wit.ai, and I don't think Wit.ai is uh, you know mature enough. Uh, I mean, it, compared to API.ai, I found that it still lacks a lot of functionality. Uh, API in API.ai, you can quickly build all your conversation here, but if you go to Wit.ai. To build this, what I developed right now, it probably will take a few hours. Um, but yeah, so I had. Now know what's the criteria of approval? Yeah, you, so what they uh, do is they when you up put for approval, uh, they will go through your app, do whatever you have shown in, in your video. So when you send it for approval, you have to create a video and then probably. Uh, you submit, and then they will go through that video and uh, will understand what what messages you have to they have to type. And if it works well, if the bot is able to answer those queries, they will approve. If it does not, then they, they may not approve. But you can you can submit and get approved, and then you change your bot to do something else. Maybe yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> uh, then probably people would complain, and then then they might come to know. Uh, maybe they they would be monitoring now. I don't know. But yeah, uh, uh, we had applied for this one, so this is. Yeah. 
Yeah, we had applied for this one, but it, it's not approved yet. Okay, so. <coughs> so, is it possible to exercise the bot with few of your friends, say for a very small page without a profile? Or is it always something public? Uh, so, you have three or four friends. Yeah. You just want to provide the answering service when you are abroad. Can you somehow? Yeah, so, so you develop an app and make all your friends as developers and testers, uh -huh. so they will be able to access. But so you do not they have. are able to also screw their or changes. They, they, they if, you, if, if you make them it's tester, they will not be able to do it. Ah, okay, so you can make them tester, so they cannot do anything. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so yeah, I was going through this, right? So basically, I have defined an entity of room type. Okay, so these are three different types of rooms. Okay, so you can define an intent called book hotel and then define two parameters. Okay, room type and the date. And in the parameter <coughs> section, you type if somebody does not uh, give the date, so you ask him what is the date. Somebody does not uh, provide the uh, room type, so you can ask what is the room t uh, type. So maybe you know you can just. So it'll ask you which date. So you say <coughs> Sunday. So it'll tell what what is what room type? You say uh, twin room. Okay, now if you look at the JSON, you will have uh, action incomplete false <coughs> and your action name. If you go back one step previous, uh, the action incomplete will be true. That means your action is not complete yet. So you you just uh, you know allow the bot to send the next message. Okay, right. So. Uh, I'll show you the sample code. How it looks like. Uh, is <coughs> API the AI uh, able to access uh, like data like user data like the name and like, email and stuff? Yeah, that you can get that in your in a code. So we have to do it ourselves. Yep. Okay. Uh, API to API dot AI, you can pass the information. When you get it from Facebook, you can pass it on to the API dot AI. How do you, so if I'm getting the user data myself, how do I link the the JSON that API did, the AI gives me in the conversation? It's like how do I know um, who I'm talking to? Does the J, uh, JSON tell me who I'm talking to? As in who's no, no, no. Person? Your face, uh, your own code. You'll be able to get that information, right? Um, okay. So we saw that the API.ai created an app for you, right? Yeah. Uh, and then it gave us a webhook URL, and we put that you know, uh, in the Facebook app. Mm -hmm. So what you have to do is you uh, you do not have to do that. You uh, you know host your application on your server, and so this is a sample code uh, <coughs> that is given by API.ai. Um, what you have to do is you have to install API AI uh, and then pass on this information to uh, to this code and then you know, so you so when you run this you will get your URL and you put this URL into your Facebook app right if you want to want me to go through again. <coughs> <coughs> so when we did the integration, it actually created an app and we got this webhook URL. So we have to we have to stop this 
and create our own app. We have to stop this and create our own app. Okay, so how do we do that? We uh, so uh, this is a sample code that you can use. You can run this, and then uh, whatever we did right now, it will be able to do that. Okay, if you want to know, uh, I mean, this is on my GitHub. I can share that with you, and it's also there on the API AI uh, SDK. Uh, you, you just download the Node.js SDK. You'll be able to get this. Okay, uh, so I'll just quickly run through what what it is. So you'll have a app dot post where you get the message. Okay, and once you get the message, then you, you know, send it to process event. Uh, in process event, you get the uh, sender information and the text message that. You know, user is going. User is sending. Then you send that in, uh, send that text and the sender information to API AI service, and the API AI service will uh, send you all the. You know, it can give you all that uh, data that you can parse. Okay. So it will be there in the response dot result object, and you can parse all that information and do. Uh, you can, if it is a booking application, you do the booking and then send the response back to the user. Right. How do you deal with limits? Uh, sorry. That your bot is not overloaded. Your bot <coughs> is not overloaded. Yeah. So if say you know there somebody spawns thousand requests and it's a booking. Yeah. Booking can take like half a minute or a minute. <coughs> uh, but the, your booking will be handled by a separate application, right? So when yeah. when you come to this, you uh, understand that the action is book room or book hotel. Then you are going to call your booking API, right? So once your booking API uh, sends you uh, a confirmation, then you send this information back to. Uh, back to the Facebook, so you need to have a call back here. So once you get the information from your yeah, API, so and then this is exactly what I mean. So how do you prevent one user from spamming your bot? So that has to be written in your code. So either you write it here or you write it in your in your API service. Okay. Right. I think there's an easy way to throttle it, throttle it because you probably have a conversation ID. Yeah, you have a so sender ID here. So if the guy is, you know that that's the sender ID, and then you, if the guy is consistently yeah. making the same calls, then you start <coughs> throttling that. Yep. So you can do it here, or you can do it at your API, uh, you know, API service that you develop. So for your booking application, you will have your own API, right? So you, you can do that there. So I, I think normally it's it's better to basically throw at the gate. That's why I, I was interested more in this code. Yeah, this is and your you gate. Throw later than no, this is your gate. Uh, this is your gate, right? Yeah. Uh, th this app is your. Uh, this app gets all the data from the messenger and then it sends to the NLP engine. So you have you can stop it here. So you can figure out how many. You know, you can write a code that will log how many uh, data it's getting from a particular sender uh, if it is more than you know you can define if it is 10 second per 10 messages per second you can throttle it here so the uh, the architecture <coughs> is that the message on facebook gets to the app the app basically then calls the nlp engine gets back Data, yes. And then can pull external APIs <coughs> with a pullback to Facebook itself, right? Uh, yeah. So let me just open this. Yeah. So you you get the message in your app. Uh, then you send it back, send it to NLP engine. The NLP engine sends you a response. Then you decide what to do. 
either uh, you know uh, based on the action and based on the parameters you can decide so there are three things that you have to notice that is <coughs> that is action that is the action incomplete and then the parameters if the action incomplete is true then that means you you do not do anything you just send the message back that means the user has not sent a required parameter like date or room type or something then obviously in your nlp engine handles that so the your message would be like oh, what date or which room so you just pass send that message back to the messenger and get that input again uh, your nlp in engine will be able to understand uh, that conversation and when it get, when it gets the date and room type then uh, so on the second or third step your action incomplete will be uh, false and then you can process the action so you can define the your function name in the action so if your action is book hotel or book room you can complete your book room with and then you you will have those parameters right Is there a way to feed the conversation back to the NLP so that he can learn, let's say in the past one month, we have used the chat bot to speak and some of the, some are correct answers, some are wrong answers. Is there a way for us to feed it back so that he learns what is the better answer? Yeah, all your conversation, you uh, get it in your logs. So you can figure out uh, what type of messages people are you know sending and then you can def if the message i mean engine is not able to figure out then it will have it will ask you to uh, you know define here now when we said the book a room then the engine has figured out that y your intent <coughs> type is book hotel if some if you type something like you know uh, switch on this light so obviously we have not defined anything for that so it will not be able to figure out so either you can create a new intent for this so this is a manual work if you want the bot to understand uh, learn new things automatically uh, that one i i uh, know i don't think they have that either uh, you know probably you need you, you can build your own model for that you can build your own model uh, that every message that the bot has not understood you pass it on to that model and that that model understands and probably you can deploy uh, create a new domain for that <coughs> yep um, do you have an example of if i know the user id sender id how can i start the conversation uh if you already know the sender id yeah uh, so you you wrote me hi yeah. I got this in the ID, I stored in the database. Yes. And then I want to send you a message later. Send you a message later, right? Yeah. Uh, you store that in, in your database, and then probably you can have one more function where uh, you can define that th that function would run at you know 6 o'clock in the morning or 7 o'clock in the morning, and then uh, it will just send a message, okay. right? So your application you should write a separate service for that get the get all those users and then just send send message to everyone everyone would that be the send mess and uh, empty message uh, uh, the call that was there in your, in your process event uh yeah okay <coughs> I mean, is, is, it, is it the same library that can be used yeah so you, you yeah you, you, you can there, there is a function called fb send fb message so you can use that send fb message function to uh, send So th th this is pretty simple. Send a message. You need to pass the your page access token, your sender ID, and the message data. So your message data is actually a JSON. So if you want to send a structured message data, uh, structured message, then uh, you can define this JSON. 
can pass additional parameters like image URL and your URL. Okay, any other questions? If let's say the bot is uh, chatting with the uh, user, is when the admin uh, is viewing the bot, right? Is there a way to intercept the bot from like chat, continue chatting? Then is the admin want to take over? Uh, you can define that. You can have a UI, and then define. Okay, you can create a let's say list item which all users are talking right now and then probably stop that particular person and then start conversing. Do you so, that that, that, that so you have to develop that your own UI where you can get all the current active users that are talking to your bot and then maybe stop a particular user. Yeah. Uh, so you have to write that logic. If, uh, <coughs> if the flag is false, then you know, it will not send any message. Yeah. So when I say chat, you will stream this after high event, and then you they will give some standard template for you. Uh, I think you can define a standard message. Yeah. Uh, so what I, I, uh, the, I do not have a sample code for that, but you can define a standard message that you can send for the first time the when the user clicks on your messenger, <coughs> you can send a standard message template. That will be all, it will be, for the first time it will send and it will not send after that. Yeah. Can it be done over API or we have to No 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 it has to be in a code. Like code. Yeah, not an API. Yeah. Okay. Any other question? Uh, so these are some of the uh, you know, parameters that you need to understand from JSON. So the intent name, action, parameters, and the fulfillment uh, dot speech. So these are the few of the parameters that you need to understand. Uh, I mean, you'll be able to you'll, you would deal with when you develop an app. Uh, how do you create a development environment? Because it requires a HTTPS URL. So you, you download ng-rock, and then it will be able to create a uh, HTTPS tunnel for your local host. Uh, I put the sample code uh, at this location. I'll, I can share uh, this URL on the Meetup. So you can download, or you can also download <coughs> from api.ai. Uh, so the code is same. Yep. So these are, these are some of the other platforms. On uh, I found API.ai as you know uh, much more uh, easy to learn and easy to implement compared to Wit.ai. There are some other platforms also available. Uh, with you do not have to learn programming to you know create bots. Yep. So that's it. Yep. Um, the, why can we do the free uh, accounts compared to, I don't know if you try the great one, because it seems that the domain yeah. uh, can only be really used when you upgrade and uh, the monthly thing is part of the new so. are, you, are you talking about the domain that you saw there? Yeah, yeah. Uh, there are quite a few domains. So those domains provide uh, ready-made intent and uh, entities that you would require. So let's say home automation system. So it will have all the ready-made entities over there um, and all the you know intents already built in over there. So you do not have to uh, you know create. Um, so th there are domains for weather. There are no dom there is a domain for uh, uh, booking booking hotels and booking restaurants. Uh, there are quite a few other domains also available, So, you, but you have to pay pay for that. So that's that becomes really. How, How do you collect the payment? Yeah, can, can, can uh, the bot really make a 16-digit credit card get it organized and charge to the 
I think uh, you need to get Facebook's approval for that um, before you even develop. I would suggest you talk to Facebook, and then probably they will. Uh, you yeah, can. Yeah. Yeah. Facebook uh, doesn't have any payment API right now, but they insist that you, if you want to develop anything, if you want to collect payment, then uh, you better talk to them first. Um, yeah. So today, when you right, no. I, I, if you. If you know the user beforehand, if you have their wallet information or something, yeah. or credit card information, then and you know how to charge them, probably you'll be able to do that immediately. If you, uh, that is, uh, Facebook probably does not have a payment API now. Uh, I think what you can do is you can provide a secure link yeah. on the messenger. So they click on yeah, the yeah. payment and comes back. I see, I see. Uh, I mean, you can technically just ask for credit card number on the chat, but I know it's not secure. Right. So, uh, so that's not good. Yeah. 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 Right. Uh, so this this is. Because I have a computer, I wanted hundred flowers a transaction, so I'm not sure how you ask me for payment after that. I think they will give a link. Yeah. So you click click that, it gets you. So here, you know, we have a. Book now button, but you know if you click on it, then it'll go outside Facebook. But there is no way to collect payment inside Facebook now. Yep. Okay. Uh, thank you. So that that's all for today.